Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and yes, today we are making our very first video here on the channel using the brand new Xbox Series X and of course the first game I had to play was Forza Horizon 4. That is what we are playing right now. For those of you wondering, I have got the optimized version for the Xbox Series X, so we've got the best graphics and best audio quality we can possibly get. So hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never played Forza Horizon 4 in the past. I've seen gameplay of it. I've played previous Forza Horizon titles, but never Forza Horizon 4. So all what you're going to see is my first reactions to the game. It looks absolutely fantastic on the Series X, I have to say. Um, so yeah, let's just hop straight into it. We're going to start the game. I believe there's a tutorial um, to get us uh, into the game a little bit. So we've obviously got all this uh, graphics and all this kind of rubbish. Um, that seems to be absolutely fine for me. So I'm just going to uh, stick with that. Then we have our nickname. Okay. I'm going to go with Turbo. I don't know why, but I don't think it's really that important to be honest with you. Um, I think it's literally just the name that you use on Forza Horizon, um, but anyway, uh, we've done that. Um, start playing Forza Horizon 4. We also have the uh, LEGO Speed Champions, so I do have that installed, and I also have Fortune Island, so we will be getting into that in due course. Today is just going to be a sort of first look, um, episode 1 of the Let's Play, I guess you could call it. So let's start Forza Horizon 4. We've got all of the controls and um, I am using the new um, Series X controller. You can tell because it has the share button. Um, and I actually did an unboxing video of it uh, the other day. So if you want to check that out, then you can. Here's what I, see. Um, I don't know whether we're going to have subtitles or not. Um, so I will try and turn subtitles on for the next episode. Um, if it gives me the option to turn them on now, then I will do that as well. But we'll just let this little cutscene play out, and then we will continue. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. Oh yeah, first up in the center. Beautiful car. Let me show you. Are we going to get a chance to drive it now? Oh, oh, oh. A new beginning for Autumn. the festival that never ends. Look Don't at the graphics. Anywhere. That is Horizon absolutely is amazing. Oh, there we go. We are in to Forza Horizon 4. I've never played this game before. Controllers vibrating. This thing sounds fantastic. When you brake hard, that's interesting, the controller vibrates also, um, which is something I didn't think it would do, but that is really, really cool. Um, we can change the camera, okay, okay, yeah, that's a bit better. I like my camera to be quite far from the, from the vehicle. The triggers actually vibrate, that is really crazy. Oh, this is... Okay, big water splash. Lots of vibrations going on there. I'm sure you can probably adjust the vibrations to how you want them. I can't get over. Every time I brake, the, the brake button vibrates. So the actual triggers vibrate, which is really, really strange. Oh, okay, we got another cutscene. We're going into winter now. Okay. So yeah, that's another thing. If you've never seen any gameplay of Forza Horizon 4 before, there are different seasons. So I believe the season changes every week uh, in real life. Um, so I believe it's every Thursday um, there is a new season in the game. And um, the, the different seasons add different things to the game. So um, sort of lakes become frozen over and you can actually drive on the lake and then in the summer they 
uh, turn back to water so you can't drive in them and that's really cool I really like that part of it uh, what are we driving here some kind of truck I have no idea what this truck is it's basically a trophy truck of some kind of sort like a barge yard kind of truck it understeers like a pig <laughs> um, but yeah, there's loads of awesome vehicles in Forza Horizon 4 that we're definitely going to be checking out. I really want to get my hands on a classic Mini, for obvious reasons. But now we move on to the Spring. And what is Spring going to offer? Okay, so we got Rallying this time. We've got a... is that a Fiesta? I think it is. Looks like a Hoonigan sort of rally cross spec Fiesta. It looks really nice actually. I like this thing a lot. And we're racing some motorbikes in the woods. I don't know how one of those people hasn't come off yet. We have crashed. That's not good. I hate crashing on video because it makes me look like a shit driver. I'm actually a fairly decent driver in video games, I wouldn't say so much in real life, um, I wouldn't say I'm a bad driver in real life, but I'm certainly not great, um, but yeah, in video games I'm, I'm a fairly competent driver, I play a lot of racing games, so um, I'd say I'm, I'm fairly confident going off-roading in a center we're going off-roading the other way okay let's hit what let's hit Y rewind rewind a little bit further yeah we'll resume from here I guess I'm probably gonna do no okay managed to get back on track I love the active arrow on this that is just fantastic as well and there we go. I believe that is the tutorial sort of finished. Um, achievement unlocked. Welcome to Britain. Yeah, Forza Horizon 4 is set in Britain, for those of you who don't know. Um, it has been out for quite a while, this game. It's been out since 2018. That's when it released. So it is a fairly old game, but now it is. Now it has an optimized version on the Series X. Obviously, I wanted to cover it. <laughs> ah, okay. So, now we get to choose our character. Okay. I guess we'll go with a female character. I have a uh, female character in GTA. So, uh, you can change your character anytime at the festival or playhouse. So, that's okay. We can change it if we want to. Looks like we're going to pick our first car now. I saw some cars in the background. I see a 69 Charger in the background. So if you guys uh, are subscribed to the channel or you follow the channel or you know me at all, I think you know which car I'm going to pick here. So we got the Focus RS and it is the new Focus RS, which is pretty nice looking. I do have to say, I do like that a lot. We have the Audi TTS Coupe. I absolutely hate Audi, um, so not going to go for that. But then we have the 69 Charger RT, classic muscle car. If you know me at all, you know I love classic muscle cars. So we're going to go for the Charger. We, we have to go for the Charger. Oof. 426 Hemi. We've got the stripe going around the back there absolutely beautiful really really nice interior yes i want to get in the vehicle absolutely want to get in the vehicle and okay we can customize our license plate that's pretty cool so i guess we'll go for my gta one and there we go mw41975 select we're applying that that is going to be our license plate for um Forza Horizon 4. I think you can change it on every vehicle or like each vehicle separately. Not a hundred percent on that. Um, again, I've never played the game, so don't quote me on things. Um, but yeah, that is it. We are into Forza Horizon 4. We can set a route to our first race. 
which is here and then we have the Ambleside Sprint and something quite interesting about this is um, obviously I'm at university at the moment but Ambleside is about a 10 minute drive from my house back in Cumbria so where I live is about 10 minutes away from Ambleside so basically um, I don't want to say I can travel to my house but if this was the the lake near Ambleside my house would probably be about here somewhere so that's pretty cool I have to say um, there's not many video games where you can visit your own house so I like that. Um, this is our first race here, the Horizon Festival Circuit. We'll set a waypoint to that, and I guess we'll do the first race in our 69 Charger right here. Oh yes, lots of wheel spin, the controller vibrates, and the trigger vibrates, which is, I can't get over the trigger vibrating. That is the strangest thing. Um, but yeah, we'll do this first race and then we'll probably wrap it up there for our first uh, episode. But we will definitely, definitely be back in Forza Horizon continuing. Oh, slide to the side of the Corvette. Yeah, fuck off Corvette. <laughs> okay, we are into first place. And we've got one and a half laps to go hopefully I can hold on to that lead the controller vibrating yeah I keep mentioning it in this video but the triggers vibrating is the weirdest thing I'm used to obviously the controller vibrating it did that on the 360 and you know everybody's used to that but the fact that the triggers vibrate that is really strange because I don't think I've ever played on a console where the triggers vibrate yeah, so the rewind feature is quite nice. You can turn off the rewind option to make it harder for yourself. And you actually get a bigger payout. Um, so if you turn off the driving line that you can see, which is that blue line on the road, you get a bigger payout. If you turn off ABS traction control, you get a bigger payout. If you turn sim damage on, you get a bigger payout. Um, if you turn on manual gearbox, you get a bigger payout. There's all these little things that you can make the experience harder or uh, softer depending on your playstyle. So that's really nice. I'm quite an experienced uh, driver in video games. I've played Forza Horizon 2, so I'm fairly uh, used to the, the controls and stuff. So that's quite nice. We'll go ahead and continue. We have the radio stations. So there are radio stations in this game. There was radio stations in uh, Forza Horizon 2 as well. So I'm kind of used to that. I just like to have the radio off because I find it quite annoying. There goes Kyle. That is a driver tar, so he is not actually online at the moment. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, we'll just see what this is here. How do we open the map? That is a question. A world map. There we go. Okay, so it's directed us to our next um, race, basically, which is the Ambleside Sprint. So I'm going to wrap it up there for this video. That is a introduction to Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox Series X. It is the optimized version. Um, all I can really say is it's a fantastic game. I've barely got into it, but I'm already really enjoying it. We've got our first car. We've got some, well, we've got a lot of content to check out. Lots of cool cars that we can go and drive. So I'm definitely going to be making more videos on Forza Horizon 4. So if that's something you're interested in, then make sure you subscribe stick around on the channel and if you enjoyed this video then make sure to smash the like button as well it would be greatly appreciated but with that all said thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video